Item Number, SCP-3478 Object Class, Euclid Special Containment Procedures, SCP-3478 is contained by the clamping and sedating apparatus in a containment chamber at Site-74. Every four hours, four doses of sedative compound H12 must be delivered into SCP-3478 via the apparatus in its chamber. If any of the sedative injectors anchored to the other side of SCP-3478 become damaged or impaired they must be repaired or replaced as soon as possible by a remote piloted drone inserted through SCP-3478. The clamping device in the containment chamber is to be inspected every two weeks and maintenance performed as required. A squad of Site-74 security personnel must be kept on alert and armed with insecticide B-15 in case SCP-3478-A or SCP-3478-B instances attempt to emerge from the anomaly. In the event of a containment breach of SCP-3478, any forces attempting to recontain it must be armed with sedative compound H-12 or equivalent and a mobile clamping rig to safely transport the anomaly to a containment facility. Description. SCP-3478 is a humanoid spatial anomaly that stands approximately 2 meters tall and possesses average human proportions. SCP-3478 can only be detected visually from the front or back. When viewed from the front or the back, an observer will see SCP-3478 as a human-shaped patch of non-terrestrial space. The ground in this space has the same composition as human muscle tissue and the sky has a strong green-yellow tint. The landscape on the other side of SCP-3478 seems entirely natural with no purpose-built structures visible. Fauna has been observed on the other side of SCP-3478, see Exploration Log 3478-01 for details. When viewed from the side, SCP-3478 is detectable as a thin haze. SCP-3478 is capable of deforming its edges to move under its own power as a human would. It has not been observed to change its shape from its current humanoid configuration. The edges of the anomaly can be gripped by conventional means, but when the anomaly is moving under its own power these edges are capable of cutting any material tested so far. This cutting action is due to matter passing through one side of the anomaly and not the other, separated by the edge of the anomaly. SCP-3478 displays sentience, as documented in the Recovery Log and Incident Report 3478-1. No puzzle-solving trials have been attempted yet due to the risk of a containment breach. Due to SCP-3478's anomalous cutting properties, containment so far has been achieved by keeping SCP-3478 sedated and immobile. This has been accomplished by anchoring sedative injectors into the landscape on the other side of the anomaly and supplying sedatives as explained in the special containment procedures. SCP-3478-A and SCP-3478-B designate the larval and adult stages respectively of an organism encountered on the other side of SCP-3478, superficially related to the larvae of the genus Cochleomyia 1. SCP-3478-A instances are maggot-like and approximately 2 meters long. SCP-3478-B instances resemble 2 meters long flies, resembling the adult forms of the genus Cochleomyia. See Exploration Log 3478-01 for details. Recovery Log, the Foundation was alerted to the existence of SCP-3478 on October 8, 15 when Foundation intelligence sources documented an incident in Harrisburg, PA. Local law enforcement were alerted to a robbery in progress at a hardware store and informed that the perpetrator was able to walk through walls. Harrisburg Police Bureau encountered SCP-3478 after it had exited the hardware store, apparently having stolen several cans of insecticide. The officers attempted to apprehend SCP-3478, resulting in its escape and the severing of one officer's right arm below the elbow. The limb was not recovered. Foundation assets arrived on scene the next day and confronted SCP-3478 as it was leaving the scene of a second robbery where the anomaly was observed passing cans of insecticide through itself. The task force was eventually able to secure the object in a mobile clamping rig for transport to Site-74. The police officers and shop owners involved were amnesticized and provided with a cover story. Repair work was financed in order to cover up residual evidence of the incident. Exploration Log 3478-01, on November 21, 15 an aerial drone was inserted through SCP-3478 to explore the other side of the anomaly. Zero minutes the drone plants a signal relay on the other side of SCP-3478 to ensure that control signals have sufficient range during exploration. Two minutes operators spend two minutes on a systems check and initial analysis. The drone is unable to detect any changes in physical laws on the other side of SCP-3478. 
there is no sign of the insecticide or any debris from the two robberies in the immediate vicinity of the anomaly. Approximately 1 meter away from SCP-3478's location in the other dimension is a functioning humanoid circulatory and nervous system embedded in the muscle tissue, oriented with the head towards SCP-3478. The brain appears to be 30% larger than that of an average adult human. The proportions are otherwise consistent with those of a 2 meters tall human. The drone collects nearby tissue samples. 7 minutes the drone proceeds away from the anomaly. The landscape consists of rolling hills of fleshy tissue and the coloration of the sky remains yellow-green. A slight tremor is detected in the ground. 12 minutes the drone approaches a patch of what appears to be dark brown grass. On closer inspection this is revealed to be 0.5 mm to 1.5 mm thick strands of hair. The drone collects a sample for study. 38 minutes the drone approaches a large protuberance in the landscape projecting approximately 30 meters upwards. The protuberance is riddled with cavities and growths. As the drone observes these growths, one of them ruptures and an instance of SCP-3478 falls to the ground. These growths and cavities are theorized to be due to a process analogous to cutaneous myosis. The operators attempt to pilot the drone closer for further examination when the drone detects a loud buzzing sound approaching. The source of the sound is determined to be three instances of SCP-3478B rapidly approaching the drone. Operators decide to pull the drone back but the creatures pursue. 44 minutes the drone passes over an open plane on the way back to SCP-3478 with the SCP-3478B instances in pursuit. Several fleshy stalks emerge from large pores, approximately 1 meter in diameter, that open in the plane. Each stalk has a metallic object at the top, later determined to be the cans of insecticide that were stolen by SCP-3478. The stalks use the insecticide to drive off the SCP-3478B instances pursuing the drone. 1 hour 15 minutes the drone returns through SCP-3478 and undergoes decontamination. Incident Report 3478-1, on February 13, 16 SCP-3478 started moving under its own power despite being sedated to recommended levels. The cutting properties of the anomaly caused moderate damage to the containment apparatus and chamber, causing a containment breach. Several instances of SCP-3478-A were observed on the other side of SCP-3478 attempting to cross through the anomaly. Due to SCP-3478's rapid movement and cutting properties all of the creatures suffered fatal injuries before fully crossing over. SCP-3478 was recontained after one hour with two Foundation casualties. Analysis of the recovered remains of the SCP-3478-A instances is ongoing.